to graph equations on the number line, the first thing you have to familiarize yourself with is the universes. The three most basic universes we deal with in math are natural numbers, integers, and real numbers. Natural numbers are all of the whole positive numbers and zero. So this set describes all natural numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes on and on and on in the positive direction. Integers is very similar, but it includes the negative numbers too. 0, 1, 2, 3 going on forever in the positive direction, also negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 going on forever in the negative direction. Real numbers is all numbers. It's all of the integers, which means it's all of the natural numbers too, but it's also all of the fractions and decimals in between those numbers. First, we're going to learn how to graph in natural numbers. Here are four examples. x greater than or equal to negative 3. Well, this is a bit of a trick question because in truth, all natural numbers are greater than or equal to negative 3. We can ignore the negative sign of our number line because the natural numbers start at 0. It's the first number that's greater than or equal to negative 3, and then 1, 2, 3, and going on forever in the positive direction, all of them, all natural numbers are greater than or equal to negative 3. This is how it looks on a number line. Why less than or equal to negative 2? Well, all the numbers less than or equal to negative 2 are over here, but none of the natural numbers are over here. So this is sort of a trick question as well. The answer is empty set. There is no answer. So if I had to graph that on the number line, I would just give a blank number line as my answer. Z greater than or equal to 1. Well, 1 is equal to 1, so it has to be in our answer. And then all of the natural numbers that are greater than 1 are also, because they are greater than 1, they also make this equation true. So I have 1, 2, 3, and then going on forever in the positive direction. The 0 is not included in the answer because it is not greater than 1, it is not equal to 1. A less than or equal to 2. Okay, the numbers less than or equal to 2 are over here. 2 is equal to 2, so it's part of the answer. 1 and 0 are less than 2, so they're part of the answer. But now you have to stop because the negative numbers cannot be part of the answer. They are not natural numbers. Here are four very similar examples, except in this case I've used greater than and less than. There is no or equal to in these equations. It changes things, but just a little bit. B greater than negative 3, all natural numbers are greater than negative 3. So I have 0, 1, 2, 3, and I continue on forever in the positive direction. C less than negative 2. There are no natural numbers that are less than negative 2, because there are no negative natural numbers. So I have an empty set answer and an empty number line. D greater than 1. The natural numbers greater than 1 start with 2 and go on 3 and forever in a positive direction. You have to remember not to include 1 in your answer because it is equal to 1. It is not greater than 1. E less than 2. 1 is less than 2. 0 is less than 2. And we have to stop. None of the negative numbers can be included because they're not natural. And 2 cannot be included because it is not less than 2.